everyone. Uh, so in this video I want to talk about a question that I get a whole lot, and that is about cell phones. Uh, specifically, you know, since I do a bunch of technology stuff on the channel, a lot of people will ask me what kind of cell phone to use, what kind of apps to use, what kind of whatever to use. And if you've been around a long time, you probably know that I'm very much against cell phones. Uh, and nearly all of their uses. Now, of course, I own a cell phone. In fact, I'm recording this on a cell phone right now. Cell phones come with very good, uh, you know, very good resolution, very good, uh, you know, megapixels, mini megapixels. Um, so it's not as if I avoid the devices categorically. Um, but let's just say the only reason I have a cell phone is because I'm still on a family plan. It's still the, it's the one thing I still have that I'm leeching off my parents on. So I'm not going to neglect that. So anyway, why do I not like cell phones? Why am I not a big fan of them? Um, so when you really think of it, cell phones are actually sort of crazy um, because they are computers. They're arguably one of the most personal kind of computers that you have. And you know, you put all of, you might have all your emails on them. You might have your logons to a bunch of different websites. Uh, you might have a lot of other things on your cell phone. And it's arguably, it has the most sensitive, most personal information. Um, but at the same time, it's a computer that you really have the least amount of control over. I mean, in fact, most people don't even have root access to their phone. You can't really even uninstall applications if you really want to. Like when you get an Android phone and it has Google Chrome and it has Google Play and Google all this stuff that no one really uses, or if they do use, they should probably be using something else. Uh, you know, all these applications that data mine you, uh, that violate your privacy in very, uh, you know, diffuse ways, um, you don't really have the authority to get rid of them off your phone or really tell them what to do or what not to do. Now, of course, there are options on the phone to disable applications. Who knows what that actually means? Of course, it's obvious that you're not actually uninstalling these applications just because you don't have to re-download them or anything like that. So they're still there. It's not really sure what disabling actually is but you know your cell phone is a device that is incredibly personal to you but you don't have the basic rights that you would have on a computer I mean it's like it might be like when you were a kid and your dad might have let you use his computer but he didn't give you administrative access to um, now that's understandable for kids because they're gonna mess things up and it's not really their computer but when it's a cell phone it's sort of weird because you know, you like to think that that cell phone is yours, uh, but in reality, you don't really have permission to change it. Google does, uh, or, you know, Apple or whatever company you have your phone with, or potentially if you have AT&T or T-Mobile apps or something like that, they have that authority to run root access on your phone, but you don't really have that. In fact, if you have, if you have a rooted phone, uh, first off, I think that voids your warranty in a lot of cases, but if you have a rooted phone, that's like something that weird hackers do. And it's harder and harder to do. I mean, if you, if you have rooted your phone, you've basically had to go to some obscure website that some Pajit on YouTube directed you to, and you ran some clandestine app that, like, you know, could have potentially ruined your phone. And that's really <laughs> how you end up getting root access. Um, so it's not... It's a, it's a weird... It's just sort of a shame that this is how it is, you know. Um, it's a, Again, it's a phone that is most personal to you, but you have no control over. Now, that said, um, a lot of people, aside from that, even if you did have a totally free software phone, which can be done if you pick the like model specifically, even if you have a phone that has applications that respect your freedom, don't violate privacy, I still am very much against cell phones. Um, now, first off, it's very easy to monitor cell phones, even if they're totally free. They're still in some kind of cellular network. But even aside from that, I don't really think that cell phones are useful. Um, and now, I know that there are a lot of things in your life that you do with a cell phone, and you like to think that they're very useful. But when you really take them away, you'll realize that you don't actually lose that much at all. Um, it's really... There, you know, people will have, get all their daily updates, they'll, they'll have their little Reddit apps, they'll have their Tinder, they'll have all, all these applications that they've built their life around, you know, and having them at their fingertips makes, makes them feel like it's something that's not replaceable. But when you go without a phone, uh, which I've done many times, there's all, you, you feel a lot more free. You'll feel a lot more mentally free and stuff like that. Now, I can understand if you need to have a business phone, 
Um, but you could just have it as a business phone. You don't actually have to have some kind of, you know, some device that you have on yourself all the time and you use it for personal purposes. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I very much do encourage people not to use cell phones or anything like that for, for those reasons and other things. And I think that it does, you know, I, I've talked about this in videos before. There's this reflex that people develop when they have cell phones, um, myself included. Uh, when you have, you know, 10 seconds alone and you don't have anything to do and it w when you're faced with that terrible possibility that you might, you know, have some free mental time to yourself, your reflex that you develop is to pull out your phone and just sort of do whatever. Maybe you check your Facebook feed. Maybe you, uh, I don't know, check 4chan. I don't know what kids are doing nowadays. They do whatever. Um, and you don't really get anything out of that and you lose something important. You lose boredom you lose uh, min boredom is really mental freedom it's you being able to like think about the thoughts that are actually going to come to your head and cell phones get in the way of that because when you're when you're on a cell phone when you're using it constantly it, you very much do you get in you have sort of a herd mentality uh, when it comes down to it you you'll become acculturated to whatever kind of application you're using and it does change your personality and it changes I don't know, it's, it really does detract from your humanity in a lot of ways that's sort of disturbing. So yes, I do have a cell phone. As I said, I'm recording this on a cell phone uh, because cell phones are very nice for, you know, they have all those megapixels. They're good at audio recording. My cell phone is actually better uh, than the camcorder I have back at home, which is like, you know, 15 years old. I don't even know how much. You've probably actually seen it in other videos, but um, so it is good. For, cell phones can be useful. I do use Uber or something like that every once in a while. But I really only take my cell phone around when I specifically need it or when I think that some kind of emergency situation could arise. Like if I'm traveling, if I'm going somewhere I've never been, if I feel like I, I just might need it. But otherwise, I pretty much never take my cell phone anywhere. I keep it at the house all the time. The, again, the only reason I have it, the only reason I have it and not a landline is because I'm still on my family plan, right? And if I'm going to basically get a cell phone and service for free, I might as well at least have it, even if it's, you know, just going to be sitting in my desk all the time. Um, and I will say, a lot of people have the feeling that, you know, since they have a cell phone and they're used to getting, having all these people contact them via a cell phone, um, they have this idea, I think, that if they don't have a cell phone, that they're, they're not going to be able to have normal human interactions. And that's not true. When people realize you're not a consistent cell phone user, which many people are, even people who have... Uh, cell phones and carry them around all the time people understand they'll make adjustments they'll be like okay well i know this person if i really want to contact him i'll see him in person email him whatever people are very good at adjusting to that um and that's my excuse all you people who have texted me in the past couple of months and me not replying <laughs> uh you should email me or something actually people who email me might know how bad i am at responding to those but regardless of both of those things you know it really does help uh you, trimming you know, trimming the busyness you have in your life is a really good thing. Sometimes ignoring, you know, the constant updates and all that stuff is a good thing. And I think cell phones keep you always plugged in and, and they keep you with this sort of low attention span mentality. Uh, and you end up spending a lot of time on things that you wouldn't, that are frankly a waste uh, long term. So anyway, that's about it. It's getting a little dark here anywhere. It's very crepuscular here. Look at that. Very crepuscular. What is that? What building is that? I think that's a library. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, that's a library. I've been there. <laughs> anyway, so that's about it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.